Hi, good evening. I'll give everybody some time to hop on, but I wanted to share something that was on my heart today, and I'm hoping that this message gets out there to whoever needs to hear it. So I was talking to a client today, and um, I know so many people struggle with this, and it's something even I struggled with, and it took me a long time to work through. And I really want to talk about trusting your intuition and trusting your gut, because so many times we question ourselves, we second guess ourselves, and the answer has really been there all along. So I want you to think about maybe a time in a relationship that you second guessed if you were doing the right thing, or you second guessed what someone said to you. And very often, what your first instinct is and what your gut tells you is usually the right instinct, or the right thought, I should say. So I had a client today, and um, we were talking about relationships and what's acceptable and what's not. And it just made me um, think a little bit about what is truly a boundary what is coming up in your gut and being able to recognize what you're willing to tolerate and what is too much. And sometimes things happen in a relationship that, they, you know, mistakes happen. I'm not saying you're looking for perfection, but sometimes certain things happen and it just doesn't sit right with you. And your gut tells you, I don't think it's supposed to be like this, but we accept it and we move on. And eventually, through repetition, we keep quieting our thoughts and become more tolerant of things that don't align with our values, our morals, just to not stir up any kind of controversy or trouble, or we um, tend to allow things to happen. So, I want you to think about what comes up for you when someone is doing something. You know, look, looking at the flags or looking at if you're allowing certain things to take place and when you really should be speaking up. In your relationship, do you ever feel like you can't express yourself and you have to walk around on eggshells because you don't want to cause a fight? You want peace. So you tolerate it and you let something else go a little bit further. Maybe you are not expressing what you truly need because you don't want to kind of rock the boat or stir anything up. So start thinking about what you actually need and how often you are quieting your thoughts or quieting your intuition and not trusting your gut. I want you to think about maybe what are some of the things that happened? Did you catch, were you with your significant other and they were maybe flirting or um, checking out someone else in front of you? That's disrespectful. It's not something that you should just say, oh, you know, guys just do that. No, guys don't just do that. It's not acceptable. And if it doesn't feel good for you, maybe somebody else out there tolerates it, but it's not what makes you feel good. And if something is happening that does not make you feel good, you don't have to accept that as is. You can speak up. You can make the decision to no longer tolerate it. But the most important thing is that you are no longer quieting your intuition. You're allowing your intuition to go into your thoughts and share them. You're no longer going to just be ignoring them because the signs are often there at the early stage of a relationship, but we want to believe that it's better. We want to believe that the best is possible. So I want you to think about what are some of the signs that came up for you in the relationship and maybe could you have seen them a little bit sooner to increase your awareness. Sometimes we are more tolerant than is actually necessary. And, 
you know, there's a fine line between something happened and tolerating it. And if there's no change and this becomes a repetition, then it's important to acknowledge what's going on and address it. Because if you're holding your voice back and you're not expressing what you need and how something makes you feel, you're doing a disservice then to yourself because you're holding yourself small. So I want you to think about that. And I want you to think about a time that something came up in a relationship that just didn't feel right for you and how you handled it. Did you let it go or did you address it? And if it was something that repeated itself, did you, again, not say anything or let it continue? So take your own responsibility for what's going on in the relationship by addressing your needs, creating healthy boundaries, and knowing exactly where you stand and what you'll tolerate. So I want you to think about that today. Any questions or thoughts, leave it in the comments below and I'll be checking in. Have a beautiful night.